How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here from Airbrush Down and Dirty Tricks. Today I'm going to do just a quick tip on how to do some Adobe Illustrator work and some vectoring. I'm um, doing this lettering for Harley Davidson motorcycle. So I got this nice font here, but it's a little too thin. So I want to beef up the outline stroke and I'm going to round off these sharp edge corners because you get to these pieces here. I'm going to zoom in. They're along the sharp side. I don't want that and these are sharp. I want them to be smooth. I'll show you a quick way to do that. Go to my direct select tool here. I'm going to select the whole lettering. I'm going to go to the actual stroke here. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to turn on the same color black. Okay, so it just increased it, but that won't plot. When you go to a plotter, it'll still just plot the, the inner line only. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to stroke. If this isn't up, you'll find this in window stroke and you can turn that on. I'm going to increase the stroke width. I'm going to go up to three point and then I'm going to round the caps and round the corners. So now you see I got this nice corner. I'm going to zoom in right here. So now it's all smooth corner transitions. Okay. But again, this is fine if you're going to print it, but a plotter is still only going to see the original there. So what you have to do is select it. Go to Object, Expand, Fill and Stroke. Now you have all these extra lines here, which you don't want to cut. Okay, now you'd get all those cuts here. Super easy to do. Pathfinder. All you have to do is open your Pathfinder. It's also found in Windows under Pathfinder. And click Unite. And voila, it selects everything of that same color. Everything is selected and united it into one shape. And that's it. So when I go to Control Y or Command Y if you're on a Mac to see what the plotter is going to see, that's it. That's all the little nodes, and that's how it's going to cut. So I hope you like this quick tip. Easy to thicken up lettering. This also works with other graphics and flames and other things like that, or anything that you're finding a little too thin. You can just beef up the stroke, expand the stroke, and unite them, and you're good to go. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip, down and dirty trick.